Full up, understanding the phrase. Hey everyone, in today's video, we're going to dive into the phrase, full up. This is a common expression in the English language, and understanding its meaning and usage can really enhance your conversational skills. Let's get started. The phrase, full up, can be taken quite literally at first glance. Full refers to something that has reached its capacity or limit. Up is often added for emphasis. Imagine you're pouring water into a glass. When no more water can fit in the glass because it's reached its capacity, we can say the glass is full up with water. While full up can be used in its literal sense, it also has a more figurative meaning in everyday conversations. 1. Restaurants or hotels. If you go to a restaurant or a hotel and they can't accommodate you because they have no available tables or rooms, they might say, sorry, we're full up. 2. Feelings and emotions. It can be used to describe feeling overwhelmed or having a lot on one's mind. For example, I can't think about that right now. My mind is full up with other things. 3. Events and gatherings. If there's an event or gathering and there are no more spots available for attendees, the organizer might say, we're full up for this event. To better understand how full up can be used, here are some examples. 1. I wanted to book a room at that hotel, but they were full up for the weekend. Two. Can you eat more, or are you full up? 3. The workshop was so popular that it was full up within an hour of opening registration. To expand your vocabulary, here are some synonyms or similar phrases for full up. Fully booked. At capacity. No vacancies. All filled up. There you have it. The phrase Full up is versatile and can be used in various contexts, both literally and figuratively. We hope this video helped clarify its meaning and usage for you. Keep practicing, and you'll sound like a native speaker in no time. Remember, every phrase you learn brings you one step closer to mastering the English language. Happy learning!